Look at this, that's like greasy, slimy green rock. You might go fast, you might go slow, different lines, you never know. Gully's going that way. I'm gonna go straight here. I'm gonna give you a little hint for skinnies. Apply a little bit of brake because you wanna pedal against your brakes. This is an awesome log ride. Might be the most jankiest tear totter on the shore. Wow, that literally got my finger dead Did on. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Wade Simmons here, pick apart. We're on Mount Seymour today. Gonna ride a classic Boogeyman. <laughs> and uh, the reason I want to ride Boogeyman is because I had this on the radar for a while, but a good friend of mine, longtime North Shore Loke dog, ex-teammate, Jeff Golovich is gonna join us. Hey, we're back to being teammates. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so I'm uh, stoked to have Jeff back on, uh, or on Race Face now, my teammate on Race Face. Yeah, and uh, you know what's funny is that we're actually wearing the same shirts today, Jeff, so. It's meant to be. Meant to be. Let's pick this trail apart. Cheers. Don't drop me. You know, I am 47 now. Hey, you know what? And a half. 27. <laughs> a really <laughs> 27 year old. <laughs> <laughs> You're 27? Yeah. Oh, oh what happened? Toes, baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Ain't hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of new that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took a slumber on you. Pretty oh, brown oh, skin, oh. baby. I can see the summer on you. You see all the bread. I'm gonna make there. you wonder, don't you? Don't you, don't you. Ha, we're taking totally different lines. And I missed, I missed the A-frame, it was perfect because he came right back in on me. That's awesome. So this is why we're stopped here, because we have this first A-frame up and over. You can see here, it's uh, you know, it's probably like uh, probably five, six feet off the ground, bike length and a half long. It's pretty intimidating for uh, for, for newbie riders. So uh, I'm gonna follow Gully in here and Gully's gonna manual it and hopefully you can see how he gets his weight back and lets that rear wheel fall in. And then we'll head back up for a little uh, air time. Who you off your shot? Hey buddy, hit. Hit in. I went too hard for it. Yeah, yeah. Don't mess up the move. Oh, it's so pushing like that. You can see to manual it, you go up to the edge and then you pick the front end up and you let the rear drop down. You kind of just feather the brakes. It's kind of a very advanced move. You got to be uh, pretty confident with the manuals. Uh, but it's it's something to evolve to. So next. We're gonna try air it out. It's not gonna be pretty because it's gonna be a hard landing, but there's a nice tranny right here. Nice landing right there. So from where Gully is there, this is like a 10 feet by six feet. We should be good right in here. It's a nice smooth landing. Don't panic. That's the knuckle right there. You don't want to hit that. You want to land just on the back side of that root because this is the smooth landing. Anything closer is not so smooth. That airing is a funny thing because the faster you go, the less you got to pick up. And the slower you go, the more you have to pick up. And because this, this one is kind of a bit of a gap out, I think we're gonna have to bunny hop a little bit because we're not gonna have a lot of speed. But the thing when you pick up a little bit, you can place right into the landing. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet actually. I might go for the speed technique. Oh, and just like, whew. Well, it's gonna be a bumpy landing if you pop into it. Yeah. So a little bit of outward momentum might make it smooth it out a little bit. Okay, let's smooth this out. Buddy. That's the way to hit it. For sure. Right? I think it definitely smooths it out. Cause if you're trying to pop into that, it's you're, po you're popping A on wet wood, which can add a factor to it. If you're carrying that speed and you just get a good uh, trajectory, it's definitely gonna smooth that landing, especially with North Shore transitions. Yeah. So. so as a rider, you gotta, coming up to the end of the, of the takeoff, you gotta say, do I need to pop? Do I need to suck it up? And you know, only experience can, uh, can help you with that. So 100%. Yeah, uh, let's move on to the next uh, stunt on Boogeyman. Great success. This is a nice long bridge to log ride. It's not very wide either. Look at that. It's like, it is wide, three feet off the creek. You know, I'm sure this one uh, poses difficulty to a lot of people. I'm gonna give you a little hint for skinnies. Is that you wanna, you wanna apply a little bit of brake because you wanna pedal against your brakes. If that makes sense, I know it sounds weird, but when you're on a skinny, you want to drag a bit of brake 
and then you want to pedal against the brakes because you can modulate your torque and your speed. Because if, if you don't have the brakes on, you hit the gas, you pedal, you're going to accelerate, but you got to hold that back. And that really stabilizes the bike on skinnies. Golly, what do you think about that technique? The braking technique on skinnies? I use that quite often, actually. It uh, just gives you a little more pressure on the front and it kind of stabilizes the front wheel. So it's a good technique yeah. to have. So for those of you who are uh, new to riding uh, bridges and skinnies, try applying a little bit of brake and then pedaling slightly against it. And then you can release it for speed. You want to make sure your wheel's on and then you kind of look up, see where you're going, look down, look up, look down. So you're, you're constantly, you're constantly changing your view. You know, you're like looking down, okay, and then you want to see where you're going. You got to have a vision of where you're going because that's going to tell you where, whether to lean in, which way, whether to pedal, right? Because if you're constantly looking down all the time, you're not going to see what's coming. I'm going to follow Gully into this uh, line and uh, we'll get her done. On the brakes, on the brakes. Nice, yeah. Look ahead, let her go, air off, smile, manual, nose manual, holy brown dirt. Look at the work that's been done on this. It's amazing. Well, oh, that's good, eh? Oh my God. No one ever got that. What's that? Yes. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Glad you're enjoying it. Yes, yeah, good work. Good job. Thanks to Steve. Drive up. Slow in for this. This is kind of funny. It's a steep and deep one. You got to kind of push into it. We got to pick that apart, Gully. That's got some uh, technique. Here we are, a little lower down on Boogeyman on the drooler. The key with this thing is you got to go slow because when they built it, they built it really steep. So it rolls. But it goes, it almost goes vertical and it bucks you. If you don't, oh, here comes Gully. If you, if you don't get over the front, okay, hit it for us, Gully. Here we go. You See how far over the front he is? And then he, and then he pushes into it. What people do is that they panic. And what you do is when you panic, you get in the back seat, right? And if you start to go over the front end on the back seat, it's gonna spit you out. It's like a lever, tang. So what you actually want to do is like get over the nose, creep, creep, creep. As soon as your front wheel rolls in, you let the bike go. You straighten out your arms and pump it again. Go, let's do it. So you want to get over the front end. Do it smooth, go, let's do this. Right, click it. Smooth, and then you kind of push the bike through with your arms. You kind of load it and then push through. That's all I got to say about that. I like that little side hop. Oh, it's so good, eh? Cool! I just broke my chain! Ah! Wow, that literally got my finger dead Did on. Did it? Yeah. I hit your finger? Oh, yeah. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, Gully. <laughs> Eight hours later. All right, on Boogie Man, there's a massive log ride, maybe the biggest on the shore. The trick with log rides is look ahead and drag brakes a little bit because the brakes kind of keep you keep you square on your bike. You're like, what? Pedal against brakes? It's like, yeah, the, the brakes square you up. Maybe if you come over, you hit the brakes, it'll square you up a little bit and you power against it. Right here, so, yeah, you square up. Relax. I'm not drinking any break right now. This is an awesome log ride. Sick. Oh. Gear up here, a little climb. You don't want to be slipping a pedal up here. Raise the seat. Raise gear. Got another gear. Slippery log. Now we're into the climb. Nice, golly. Free riders pedal a little bit, eh? What's a mile. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick that apart because it's not really too technical. You just gotta not fall off the log and pick the right gear and do some climbing. You kind of top over in the climb and then you got this log ride, kind of canoe log into a teeter-totter. And 
this is kind of sketchy because the wood is slippery and the teeter-totter might be the most jankiest teeter-totter on the shore. It's just held together with uh, with chains, slippery. It's not really much to talk about this. You kind of creep in, you want to go slow. And uh, when you start to slide, let go of the brakes. And then once you're on the teeter here, you kind of let the brakes go. You don't want to spend much time on that teeter. So you're like, line up onto the teeter, let the brakes go, and then uh, back on the brakes and make that left-hander. Let's see Gully do here, here he comes. Hit it, Gully! Crap. So Jeff and I made it down to uh, the end of uh, Boogeyman here, and we decided that we're gonna hit the old school lines, the classics. I'd rather ride tech than jumps. I mean, call me old school, but I'm the bus driver. I'm not even old school. Or new school. Fox school. I'm the principal. <laughs> principal Skinner. It opens up with a nice steep rock right here, and it just kind of continues down. And uh, like I said on one of the pick aparts with Dale's rock face, it's best to walk it first, get to know the lines. Uh, and you know, when it's wet and slippery like today, a lot of moisture in the rock, slippery. You just gotta maintain your speed. You gotta brake control, hey Gully? Yeah, threshold braking. As soon as you brake traction, you're gonna be accelerating to the bottom. So keep it in control, ride confidently, and don't uh, get nervous and lock it up. Well said. I mean, that's just textbook right there. There you go. Jeff Golovich. <laughs> Here we go. Initial steep roll in, good taster. Oh yeah. I'm gonna catch this guy. Nice. The Hamburglar. She's a little green. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Sick, buddy. That off camera green is uh, always spicy, hey? Oh man, it's just in your head. And you're oh. Like, should hold. Let's go uh, walk up here and have a look at this drop. How do you set up for it? You bet. The classic Boogeyman line has this uh, cherry on top finish. It's a sweet ladder bridge drop, maybe, uh, maybe six feet by the time you drop, six, seven feet into a nice berm. And that's the end. And that's the easy part because this is what you gotta ride to get into it. You gotta control your braking and speed all the way down through these rocks and roots. Hey Gully, what do you think? Yeah, just down uh, this nice moss illuminated <laughs> field of rocks here. That's a beauty of a rock, I think. It is a good rock. It's just, it just says you're gonna lose control. Yeah, just be okay with it. Yeah, accept it. That's the thing about rocks is you get, you know, you're not gonna be able to control everything. And uh, I, I like to call islands of safety back when I did some coaching, summer gravity camps and stuff. When you're riding the steeps, you know you're out of control. You can't actually stop, but you look for little islands of safety where you can bleed speed like bam, bam. And here, you got these little, these little flat spots. So you can come in, you pick up speed, recorrect, regroup, you know, down through this, regroup right here, and then uh, steeps and you're off. Want to add anything to that gully or? No. You think these viewers got it? Uh, I think Islands of Safety is the perfect reference as that's exactly what I do. Just let them loose on it. Yeah. Yeah, what you don't want to do, which is counterintuitive, is that you don't want to lock the brakes up. That's when that's when problems happen because you, you, you brake traction, you skid. And you actually, when you get offline, you actually want to release brakes for a second and then back on because you got to regroup. You got to gain composure, which only experience will teach you because if you come offline, you lock up the brakes, you're generally Left. Welcome to the school of hard knocks. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like crashing, you know, as good as the other guy, but I've done enough in my life. I don't want to crash anymore. The other guy doesn't like it. No. <laughs> and the funny thing is with mountain biking is like the more you crash, the better rider, the better rider you become. If you don't uh, realize that crashing is part of mountain biking, well, maybe it's not the sport you want to get into, but you're going to go through these different levels of, of riding and then you're going to crash 
and then you're gonna break through, you're not gonna crash anymore, and then you go to the next level and you crash, then you break through and don't crash anymore. So, you know, don't, it's, it's okay if you crash on something like this, you know, it's gonna get out of control. But, uh, you know, you break through, and next thing you know, you're just greasing down it like a monkey snot on ice. Let's do this. Look at this, that's like greasy, slimy green rock. The rock here is actually, that's got good traction there, but it's when you get on the green moss, the traction is not so good. So it's a, it's a balance between sliding and braking. Sliding and braking. I'm sure all the expert riders will tell you that, like the roll cup racers, you just kind of, kind of, you just got to manage the slide, manage the out of controlness. Let's pick this apart. Lines, we'll show these guys the lines. Okay, instrument in your hand and uh, engage. Okay. So when it's wet like this, you really wanna, you wanna kind of feel the rock in your traction, eh, Gully? Feel the rock. Feel it, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh. And things do slide a bit, but you kind of just go with it. You know? You kind of just go with it. Oh, you know a new line there. Nice one. Oh, mixing it up. Here, Gully. And then we're going to dive in here. Nice and slow. I'm going to go over here, show you guys a little different. Go this way. Gully's going that way. I'm going to go straight here. Burn it out here. And into the drop. Boom. Oh. Yeah, you know what? The slowest I could go down there is the speed I always go down there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good times. You have to eat like Nothing beats old school, minutes. eh? I mean, I like jumps, but that is fun. That's cool. You just don't know what you're gonna get. Separates a lot of skill levels. Ooh, yes. That's why I do this. I mean, I wouldn't round bike if I didn't get that feeling. Seriously. Yeah, I go rollerblading or play golf or something. <laughs> Dude, have you ever tried roller golf? I'm terrible at golf. <laughs> <laughs> Slap some roller blades on, you'll be good. If I could golf, I would golf, but I can't golf. <laughs> We're out. Hey, thanks for coming out, buddy. Dude, thanks for I'm having glad, me. Uh, I'm glad uh, we got a ride and picked this apart, and we'll do some more. I'm looking forward to it. Dude, I'm in. You know that. <laughs>